Hi there, Denise here again, and I've got some Denby glassware to show you now. This is handmade, but it is still dishwasher safe, so that's really good to know. And I've got, can you see that gorgeous amber colouring on there? This glass particularly goes with the fire and the caramel ranges in the stoneware. There are other colourways available if this isn't your thing fits nicely of course onto the buffet saucer and I'm going to show you in a moment a really fantastic dessert very very quick to do a very old English dessert quick as a flash to make quick as a flash to eat the dessert I'm going to make in my Denby glass is something called Boodle's Fool and this is a really interesting little dessert and it's got quite an interesting little history to it let's go back in time come with me now to the London of the 18th century, the late 1700s. We're going down St James and we see a gentleman's club called Boodles and all the chaps are in there, all the tots, with their feet, with their leg up on the chair because of the gout, supping a port. And what do they have for their dessert? They have a Boodles full and this was named after that very gentleman's club. What you want, first of all, is we've got some cream double cream and I've whipped it you can see there not so that I don't want to cut it with a knife if you're with me we don't want to be whipped until it's too stiff we want it a bit floppy so that's about right to that I'm going to add just a little lemon and orange zest and that is a boodle's full anything if they call it a boodle's full and it's got no orange and lemon zest it ain't a boodle's full a little bit of lemon zest a little bit of orange zest what you can also put in here is I'm using a Denby uh, little grater as well, by the way. What you can also put in, it needs a bit of booze in it. And you can use anything that you can lay your hands on. That's my motto. And I've got a bit of Spanish sweet dessert wine, which I find goes quite well with the sort of citrus flavours. Just a slug of that in there. You can add a bit of lemon and orange juice if you want to as well. That's the cream sorted out. I'm going to layer the cream into the glass, but first, the base layer, I've got some sponge finger biscuits here, widely available, all the big supermarkets have them now, some nice quality sponge fingers. Now, of course, the thing with the sponge fingers, like trifle sponges, is they are quite dry, so they need a bit of lubrication as well. So, on with a good slug of Spanish, my Spanish wine. And then I'm going to take my silicone spatula and straight onto that with the cream layer. These can be made, chill them down for half an hour in the fridge and they're ready to serve. What you need to do, you need to chill them down a little bit because you need the sponge fingers to, to, um, to be moist, you see. We don't want them still work hard. Now, in the best traditions of demonstration cookery, I have one egg prepared earlier, which is just over here. So... My little boodle school I made a couple of hours ago. So that's had time to just sit in the fridge. The cream sets a little bit. The sponge fingers are moist. And then you can decorate it however you fancy. I've gone for a bit of kitsch retro. Uh, and I've gone for the little orange and lemon slices because I love these. I don't say they add them in the 18th century. But they're a bit of a 60s throwback. A bit like myself. And there we are. That's our little boodles full in the Denby glassware. There you have it.